Oh my god. Alright. Yeah. Hey, good evening, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, man, this is cool. Oh, we've got the worst electricity. It's just weird. It's pretty creepy. It hasn't changed a bit. Somebody's done something naughty. Mr. Scarlet, I understand you were one of the former students of a Mr. Geigel, is that correct? Yeah, so what's it to you? I'll ask the questions, you answer. So, I understand that uh, when you were in school, uh, there was a little trouble when you were a senior, is that correct? Maybe, maybe not. You kind of fashion yourself as a ladies' man, is that correct? You could say that. One girl on each arm, like you're the Mr. Charmer, is that right? Yeah. Well then, I understand that you might have had a motive. In fact, you did have a motive to kill Mr. Geigel, and you know what it is? I went through the records and I found out that he put you on social and you didn't like that. It hurt your image, didn't it? You didn't want to be stifled. Is that correct? So, do you think you could come and clean my house sometime? Yeah, that seems fine. Would $300 be okay? It's only an hour, I mean... How's it going, ladies? How's it going? Just, uh, just wondering so what you guys doing Saturday night after this. Singing you, you and me, dinner and a movie. <coughs> Mr. Scarlet, if I might have a word, ladies, please excuse us. Now, Mr. Scarlet, this is the second time that I've caught you talking this way to ladies, and we don't do that here on this campus. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. You, sir, are going to be on social for the rest of the semester. No talking to the girls for the rest of the semester. Do you understand? What? what? Do you understand? Uh, yes. Good. If it happens again, we'll have further words. Maybe. Are you feeling a little uncomfortable there, Mr. Sweetie? Huh? Maybe. Huh? Huh? Okay. Well, I found out that you carried that bitterness with you all these years, and I think you did it! Am I wrong? So what if I did? You're going to the clink. You're gonna go to the chamber. You're gonna be no more. He deserved to die! But did you do it? Do you have an alibi? I don't think so. Uh, and if you do, you better cough it up right now. I was on the computer. A likely story. On the internet? So we could trace it? Yes. Really? Really? And just what site were you on that we can verify this? Come on! Come on! What? E-Harmony. E E-Harmony? Mr. Sweetman himself needs to find a date on a dating site? Why 
What time? Six. Six. And so how long? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I've only got one more question for you, Mr. Sweetie. Did you get a date? Yeah, actually. Somebody yeah. great. What, what's her name? Um, I think it's uh, like, like Cl Clarissa. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I bet you might be a nice match. Okay, okay. well, listen, thanks a lot for coming in. All right. All right. All right. Talk to you later, buddy. Right. Professor Plum, I understand that you went to Newberry Park Academy 20 years ago. Um, I think so. I think, I think that was the one. And it's my understanding that you had a Mr. Geigel for a science teacher. Is that correct? Do you have a picture? I don't, I don't think I remember No this. pictures. If you're a professor, you should be able to remember this. Do you remember Mr. Geigel? Yeah. Ah, now the memory starts to get more clearer. And it's also my understanding you always prided yourself in having perfect grades. Is this correct? Yeah, I believe I had like a... But time. there was a time when grades came out and you didn't get that 4.0 that you always bragged about at school, did you? Did you? <laughs> you big sissy. And it's my understanding that we have a number of students willing to testify that you would say in your classroom there was one teacher, a Mr. Geigel, who had ruined your life, had ruined your 4.0 marathon, and you wanted revenge. Isn't that true? I remember. Isn't that true? I remember this now. You do? What are you looking at? I just had it dusted. It should be fine up there. You see a cobweb? Morning at last. Please take a seat. Becca, please take a seat. I have your tests for you. Not share our grades with other students. Hey, minus. Possibly be your alibi. An alibi. Um. Um. As bright of a person as you. I, I was I was doing school school stuff. School. What school kind of school thing. stuff? Math. Math. What it was, kind it of math? math? It was math. All right, professor. Week three. Let's see if you can get this this time. One plus one equals two. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Three weeks. How many times do I have to tell you this? How many times do I have to tell you this? Look, look, look. One plus one equals eleven. See, look. Eleven. I understand that you were in the military. I was. You were mean. I was. Yes. But you're a type of person that likes to get to the bottom of the issues, is that correct? Uh, every now and then, yes. Okay, well, we've got an issue at hand here, and you're involved in it, and I want to get to the bottom of it. Are you ready to talk? I am ready to talk. What are Good. we talking about? We're talking about the death of one of your former teachers, a Mr. Geigel? Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Geigel. I remember him well. Yes, and but I understood that there was a moment in time when he wasn't such a favorite teacher of yours, is that correct? Perhaps. Perhaps. Does it involve, mm, I don't know, something that floats on water? Perhaps. Yes. A particular game that you favored so much of his? Maybe. That you obsessed about? Just a little. And you wanted possession of it? Don't test me, man! You spit in the eye. <laughs> well, I think that we have a strong motive as to why you killed him. You apparently stole his game. Battle Creek. Battle Puddle Battle. Battle Battle. Battleship! Guys, what's that? This is Battleship. So, who, 
got it for you? My mom, I mean, my grandpa in the war bought it for me. Cool. So, who wants to play? I want to play. I got to play. All right, watch. All right, so here's what you do. You set this up like this, right? All right, so you got all these ships and you got to put them in order, hey. all right? So just, what do you guys think you're doing playing games in class? What is this? This is an educational game. This is a piece of trash. It was given to me by my grandfather. You know Is it what? true? You know what? I have killed a man with my bare hands. That's hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, anything's possible. You know what? Because you seem kind of like, I don't know, a gentle sort of soul. I seem like a gentle soul. You can put as many bars on that there Shut color up. of yours as you want, but you seem like a gentle soul. And when it comes to it, I even find it hard to believe that you... What, Mom? Did you eat yet, Melvin? No, I didn't. Make sure you eat, Melvin! I don't need to. I'm going out. Melvin! What? Eat! You're what? not going anywhere till you eat! But I don't like peas! Melvin, if you don't eat your vegetables, how are you going to grow up to be big and strong? Mom, why do you have to call me Melvin? Why can't you just call me Mustard like my friends? Because I named you Melvin and that's your name! Doesn't mean I have to like it! I don't care if you like it, eat your peas! I'm going out hunting! You are not leaving this house to eat your peas! It's getting hot in here, isn't it? I bet you'd like to be anywhere else except here. The sweat's dripping down your face. You can feel it in the air. I bet a nice cool glass of water would break the tension. And then maybe you would talk. No, thank you, but maybe if you turn the light away, it won't be so hot on you. You know, that's true. You don't know how... I, I think I'm going to get melanoma. I don't know why I do this every time I interrogate. Okay, that's a good point. All right, now, it comes to my understanding that uh, you used to work for Mr. Geigel as a TA when you were at Newbury Park Academy. Is that true? Yes. And it also comes to my attention because you are so fastidious and you like things just so that he wasn't always appreciative of all the cleaning that you did. Is that true? Indeed. Okay. And I found out from one of your fellow classmates there was a day that he was extremely rude and unappreciative. Um, does that ring a bell, Mrs. White? Maybe. It does. Could you get into a reflective stance and maybe come back? <laughs> Hmm. Oh. I mean, he's going to love this. Oh, Mr. Geigel, I finished cleaning. It only took two hours. Did you? <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Mm. Could be better. Look, you missed a spot. I tried so hard. I tried so hard! Those memories are now more vivid in your mind? Yes. Do you remember that hurtful day? You do, don't you? And those hurtful memories sometimes marinate over months or even years. And maybe with your passive-aggressive nature, it has festered to the point where you wanted to get Mr. Goggle back by murder. Isn't that true, Mrs. White? Isn't it true? Isn't it? Hello! Buddy. What are you doing? It's all in the sea, old disc. Can you stand it? Good evening, officer. Might I interest you in some muffins? No, thank you, Mr. Green. You understand why you're here? No, not at all. Do you know Mr. Geigel from about 20 years ago when you were a junior at Newbury Park Academy? Yeah, he taught me a couple of things. Yeah, he's not teaching anybody anymore. He's dead, Mr. Green. 
and you're a suspect. We understand that when you were a junior at Newbury Park Academy, you were involved in some sort of black market activity that Guy will kind of put an end to. Is that correct? I don't really understand when you say black market activity. Take a moment to reflect, Mr. Green, because I've got plenty of eyewitnesses. Start thinking. Hey, yo, uh, kid, why don't you uh, shift your body over here? Listen, uh, Sonny, you uh, interested in buying some uh, muffins? Muffins? Yeah, these are the best muffins you'll ever have in your life. I mean, outrageously delicious. How much they cost? Oh, at this price, it's steel. It's just seven installments of two ninety five. Oh yeah, by the way, the fat free day. Great taste and low carb. Your mother wants some, your father wants some. It's, it's outrageously delicious. I mean, hey, if you had to pick a muffin, you'd buy mine. Oh. Mr. Geigel, how's it going, my friend? So what are you doing here? Oh, nothing, just, you know, enjoying class time. Selling some muffins? Who said anything about selling muffins? Oh. My muffins. I'm shutting you down. Geigel, you can't do this to You're me. You're done. Geigel, a man needs to live. You're done in I've this got town. a family, That's Geigel. It. Not a family, but I need to feed myself. Geigel, you can't do this to me. Yeah, yeah, I see. You're starting to recollect some things. Kind of put a, a, a hold. It kind of interrupted everything that you had going on. It kind of interrupted your the money you were making. The ladies you could take out. The kind of clothes that you wanted to wear. No extra money coming in now, huh, Mr. Green? Yeah, motive. You were what would you do? What would you do if, if you couldn't have muffins at lunch? You had to sell them during classes. They're delicious. They're tasty. They're low calorie. They're low in fat. If you were in my position, don't tell me you wouldn't do the same thing. Daddy's gonna sing to you. Daddy's gonna sing to you. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man that lives on Drury Lane? Mrs. Peacock, I understand that you also were a student of Newbury Park Academy. Yes, I was. And Mr. Geigel was your teacher as well? Yes. Now, at the school, you were known for being a very, very wealthy young lady. Is that not true? Everyone could tell. Money is very important to you? Of course. So if somebody, let's say, borrows some money from you, you would want to be paid back because money is most important to you. Is that not correct? I think everyone would want to be paid back. Well, I'm glad we've established that. Now, it seems as though there was a particular instance when Mr. Geigel mm, didn't have his lunch money and he asked you to loan him some money. Do you remember that? Does that ring a bell? Think, Mrs. Peacock. Nothing. Well, knowing you, I assume it would be money that could be the enticement to reflect. Would this help? It might. So, I am totally out of money. I don't know. Was, really? Can I borrow like three dollars and six cents so that I can join these guys at the habitat for lunch? You think? Um, Come on, just three dollars. Just three dollars and six cents. It's nothing. Come on. Do you promise? Yes. To be back? Absolutely. I mean, I, I guess I. Like I have nothing. I usually don't. I just this don't. once. Never happen again. Yeah? Yeah? Awesome! Thank you! So, Mrs. Peacock, that did ring a bell, didn't it? 
Maybe. And it bothers you that he not only didn't pay you back the three dollars, but given that it's been twenty years, I would assume you've been keeping track of the interest that you should have gotten on that three dollars. Is that not correct? Well, I, I wouldn't say enough maybe, to kill. Maybe. Maybe not keeping track, but I suppose if you you calculate everything, four thousand. Six hundred dollars, I mean, and, and three cents, I mean, that's all it is. That's, that's not a lot. I, it's I enough to, to kill somebody, isn't it, Mrs. Peacock? Not, not really, I mean, this is all it is. <laughs> all your other friends are not suspects anymore. They had alibis, but you didn't, Mr. Muffin Man and Miss Bird Lady. I know who did it. I just want to hear you confess. So I'm not fooling around anymore. I want to hear it. Admit it! Who killed him? 